Hi students, welcome to Home Institute and welcome to the show Beyond the Rank, a show where we are going to talk about the entire journey of an aspirant secured rank in the GATE 2025 examination because it's the, it's, it's the rank that you see but, but you really don't know the sweat, the hard work, the dedication behind that rank and in this show I have Hari Prakash with me right now, All India Rank 164 in Electronics and Communication and got 62.33 marks out of 100. So Hari, heartiest congratulations from the entire team of Home Institute. Uh, how are you feeling right now? Now, I am feeling very happy right now, sir. Uh, sir. All right. So, before we start any of the discussion regarding your journey, I would just like you to introduce yourself to the audience in your way. Uh, I am from Vijayanagaram, Andhra Pradesh. I completed my graduation from Gayatri Vidya Parishad, Vishakhapatnam in the year 2000. Uh, after, the, after my graduation, I got selected in campus placement from TCS and I worked there for some 10 months. Uh, after that, I thought of resigning and started my great preparation in March 2024. Okay, so uh, nice to have you on the show, uh, Hari. So, uh, uh, when exactly did you start your gate preparation after you left the job? You left the job. Uh, after writing 2024 gate, okay. I felt that uh, it's okay, I can crack this exam. Okay. Uh, then I started my preparation after, right after the exam in February. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, more or less your 24 preparation, that was just a trial for you because uh, yeah. that time you were working as well. I, uh, I thought of preparing for GATE in college also, but due to campus placement, I got deviated from entire preparation. That, that is always one major distraction for the students, okay? So, this campus, even sometimes students have the uh, small campus also, they are happy and they don't look for bigger dreams. And, uh, okay, it's better later on how you realized it. So, uh, how your journey was, I mean, you started from March and when were you able to manage to complete your syllabus? My syllabus was started from March actually and uh, by the end of the July, the entire syllabus was completed uh, with all the subjects and I got a huge time to revise the subjects. That really uh, is a very important aspect because many students even till the month of December or January, they are just you know not able to complete the syllabus and usually from several students, especially in the month of November or December, we'll start getting that doubts or what subjects to cover, what to leave right now. But July is like a very, very ideal time to complete, uh, you know, the syllabus and you had huge amount of uh, revision. Uh, unfortunately, I would like to tell uh, these students, you know, that, you know, December, you got, uh, you know, infected blood infection you had and even after the instrumentation and EC exam, you wrote instrumentation exam as well with some 300 rank you got. Yeah. Can, can you say that exact rank to the audience? Exact rank to the audience. I got 346 in uh, instrumentation exam. Right. Okay, so, uh, you know, he was more or less very well prepared, especially for electronics. You can understand, you know, uh, even uh, for us, it was like definitely Hari would be getting rank uh, below 50, below 20 or even single digit possible. You know, he got infected with blood infection and after the instrumentation and EC, those two weeks cap, he was more or less 10 days admitted in the hospital as well. Despite of that on the exam day, being not well, he gave his best and still able to manage 62.33. Uh, out of 100. So, uh, Hari, I would like to you to uh, say these students how you managed, I mean, being infected with typhoid as well, blood infection, you know, how you kept your passion still going on and managed to get good marks. Uh, actually, before December, my revision was on the track. I completed a revision two times before that only. Uh, but after instrumentation, I got very severe problem in that. Uh, but I managed to complete my exam in two hours and two, two point five hours like that. Uh, but it's okay uh, when you revise before thoroughly, it, it will be easy for you to write the exam, even uh, whatever the consequences are there. Um, but I only feel that I am not able to give my 100% in the examination. Definitely. I mean, that, that's what, uh, you know, despite of all these challenges, you still manage to get a good rank and mostly you'll be getting uh, a good college. So what exactly is your future target right now? You're targeting PSUs or uh, MTech? Uh, I wrote a GATE exam actually because we will get multiple opportunities to the GATE, right. we can explore all of them. Right. Uh, GATE is the only exam that don't have like you are selected, not selected. We have multiple opportunities, we can go for MTech and also PSU also. Correct. And, and even despite if say on the exam day, the exam didn't go well, but later on you have several opportunities like BARC, yeah. PHL and several examinations will keep going, engineering services is coming up. So, you know, more or less gate preparation makes you a sound engineer, I would say you are able to understand the subjects because usually at the university level what we do, we are managing the subjects, we are not learning them. Yes. Okay, because just we are able to pass the exams in a matter of one or two days means we know the techniques to manage the exam but not really learning it. So did actually gate exam made you learn the concepts? Made you learn the concepts? Uh, after prepare, after completion of my preparation, I felt uh, that uh, now I am an engineer. 
Uh, I know the core concepts of the engineering from my branch right now after my preparation only hmm. I felt that. Okay. Even after getting graduation degree also I didn't felt it. So um, uh, how would you place, I mean, what is more important in gate preparation? Uh, the gate, uh, the concept part or the practice area of the gate? I mean, of course, both are important, but mm. what should be the first priority, you know, directly jumping to practice sets or making yourself conceptually strong? When we are conceptually strong, uh, we can write any type of the questions easily. Sir. Practice mm. is also important on the other hand. Correct. But co uh, knowing core concepts is like uh, any new question, we can answer them. We'll go beyond the others with those concepts. Every year in GATE, we'll get some uh, four or five questions from new concepts every time. Definitely. And they are like uh, aptitude skills also. Exactly. Yeah. Once you're conceptually done, you're able to handle new questions. Mm -hmm. This year in EC, we faced a lot of MSQs and especially the MSQs with a single option correct. Uh, so did those questions trouble you in the exam? Uh, those were the troublemaking questions because uh, uh, after uh, confidently answering only one option also, we, uh, we go to the next question also, think about it only. Definitely. It is a MSQ, but how it will be only one option will be correct. Correct, yeah. But more or less, I I believe if you, if you are strong in concepts of course sometime you will still spend but you more or less you will okay accept and acknowledge okay maybe one option is also correct right. after marking it also in the last two three minutes also we think that uh, did we i have to put the other option or not mm -hmm. it only happens when we are conceptually very clear about that correct so uh, i mean when it comes to practice what were your major source of practice i mean pyqs or any other source uh, I especially practiced PYQs and also in our own ministry we will be given with handouts. Uh, mm. That helped me a lot. Okay. If I am not able to do PYQs, first I will complete classroom problems okay. and handouts. Then I will be confident in solving PYQs. Then uh, I will solve it. Exactly. I mean, you should be sort of little bit prepared before you go to PYQs because yeah. then only you get the clear judgment that whether you are able to handle the previous questions. So after solving PYQs, what happened to your confidence level? Did it boost up? or uh, They were boosted very much high because uh, handout problems are a little bit uh, better than gate questions actually. Mm -hmm. uh, they are almost in similar level only. Right. But if we can, I am able to do handout questions. I feel like if I am doing this, PYQs will be very easy for me. Yeah, it, it's all questions other than PYQs, and that too on a better level because gate is unpredictable. I mean, this year for EC it was more or less on an easier side, moderate to easy. I will put it up. Okay. But uh, you know, so past years we have seen that sometimes gate comes up so t difficult as well. I mean, around 10, 15 questions coming up in a very new side. So if you have, you know, seen such new questions, not only PYQ, so definitely you can handle uh, those questions in the exam as well. Uh, test series, uh, did you uh, follow or uh, what was your agenda of test series? Did you take subject wise test or mock test directly? Test directly. Actually, I didn't wrote the Actually, didn't wrote those many of tests. Test. Okay. I just used to practice in PYQ. Months and in last time month also, I didn't have time to yeah, do any test series. Yeah, because managed, last month somehow you managed uh, yeah. with your health. But I wrote some three, four so those tests. Helped you in any so sense those helped you in any sense, the test? It was just to understand the interface of the examination. Exactly. How it will be, how to mark the questions like answered or mark for review. That have to, you know, and time management is... So, no, you know, so, you left so, your you know, job you and, left your uh, job and uh, you started so gate preparation. So, during the entire phase of preparation from May to February, were you in constant pressure that you have compromised the job, what will happen, what not will happen? Was it easy for you to take that call? That was not an easy call for me. Uh, because uh, after joining job also it was almost one year was completed almost. And uh, now I don't remember any of the concepts. Uh, even I don't remember networks part also how to solve them. I have to start from the base only actually. Mm -hmm. And my family also supported me a lot in resigning the job and start new preparation. That's yeah. how my pressure got decreased. Yeah, it's actually very important, you know, especially quitting a job, you know, uh, leaving apart your finances and all the family support has to be there. Otherwise, it's not easy to take that decision. Uh, so, uh, you know, any major distractions that Harry felt during his preparation? Uh, uh, sometimes we feel like uh, demotivated by seeing others results also. Mm. First thing is we have to start comparing with others. Okay. They might started before us only preparation. Mm. They might be in uh, good in some subjects. But we have our own uh, subjects that we are very confident in them. Mm. But we have to leave that first thing. Uh, don't compare to others while doing your preparation. Exactly. I mean, it's a competitive exam, but I always believe that true competition is with yourself only. Yeah. I mean, how you are impressing, whether month to month, are you tracking your progress? Because maybe somebody is preparing from last two years, somebody maybe started preparing right now. It all is going to matter the last two months where you stand and 
know, you have to make yourself prepared at least up to October, November. Before that, comparing with others and making a judgment is too uh, early, right? So, uh, you know, uh, the entire journey from March to July and then revision, how Ohm Institute helped you and uh, how you got benefited from the classes here? Uh, from these classes, I got benefited like syllabus was completed very early for me. Very early for me. Okay. So, some people uh, start their preparation in the July, August, hmm. but my syllabus was completed at the July. I have huge time for revision. Okay. Uh, despite of being two months has gone due to hmm. uh, unknown health, health uh, hazards hmm. also. But the main thing is because of the syllabus was very compl completed very fastly, I am able to write the exam now. Correct, correct, correct. So uh, you were here at the offline batch. Yeah, offline. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, st sitting in offline, how you felt, how the teachers interacted with you, how the atmosphere, especially with, because offline you are directly connected with the faculties, yeah. okay? So how that how you felt at the atmosphere at our uh, premises? Uh, the atmosphere was very good. Uh, yeah. During offline classes, the main advantage is we can clear our doubts and at the spot itself. I used to ask the doubts whenever uh, the subject was completed instantly after class completed, I will uh, clarify my doubts okay. and I go to room without any doubts. Any doubts. Hmm. Ah, th that is actually good, you know, you can directly catch up your faculty the same yeah. day and uh, you know, next day you're not pressurized, you know you have covered up the previous right. part. So, uh, in terms of offline class also, you were having nearly maybe uh, on an average six to seven hours of class per day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after that, uh, were you able to prepare on your own or were you just tired after the offline class? Uh, actually, I am not tired after the offline class. I used to uh, go to go, go to room and revise the what has happened that day entirely. Mm -hmm. Correct. I used to practice those problems and revise them. It has to be since you you have taken a pass out badge, the co course goes on running yeah. to evening and since you have taken the decision to drop, so ideally you should be ready that at least 10-12 hours you are preparing. So even if 7 hours or so goes in the class, uh, the rest 3-4 to four hours at least minimum you can manage on your own. Uh, why I just say this because many students, okay, they are just following 7-8 to eight hours of class but then not, uh, you know, revising on the entire yeah. day. And if you don't revise on the same day, you will keep forgetting the things very easily. Right. While so coming to the next day class, we should know what happened correct. last few days. And, and if you're following this, uh, you know, following this cycle, so maybe when you're going to come for the next subject, your previous subject is more or less finished. Yes. Right. Because where where many students fail is, okay, uh, at some point of time, they feel that, okay, four or five subjects completed for them in the classes, but they have done, not, done it, not done anything. So, you know, backlog keeps on increasing for them. And there comes a time where they start taking decision whether to go forward or to quit. What is there to uh, be actually done? I was also on the same track only. Okay. I, I didn't revise first two subjects. Mm -hmm. After three months, uh, I was entirely forgotten what, uh, what are the, about the subjects. Mm -hmm. That's why I started following that thing. Exactly. Uh, at least you realize that this is not going yeah. right. And uh, usually, you know, every topper, every topper, you know, they'll know their weakness or they'll know what is not going right and they'll try to improve. Okay. The only difference is if you know your weakness, if you know something is going wrong and if you still die, don't try to improve onto it, maybe you'll not get your expected results. Okay. So, uh, what are, you know, if, if I have to summarize, you know, any aspirant preparing for gate 26 or gate 27, okay, what, uh, you know, uh, should be the two or three important techniques uh, to the future aspirants? Uh, main technique is only always everyone says it is revision only. Completing the subject is first thing. I used to thought that uh, syllabus completion is everything. I will get the rank. But after completion of syllabus, you have to revise on yourself. Uh, writing short notes is also important for quick revision mm. and taking tests and uh, or, or else you can write uh, PYQs as a test only. Test only. Right. You yeah. will know how much you are able to solve the gate problems. So, so you maintained your short notes? Yes. And when were you making the short notes? Because many students have that doubt. Short notes they have to make but what is the right time? Immediately after class, after practice, after some months. What is the correct way to make short notes? For me, uh, I started every subject as new subject. If, mm -hmm. I if I start to write short notes after completion, I will write everything whatever mm -hmm. there is in the notes. Mm -hmm. First, I used to uh, revise the notes mm -hmm. and start, uh, write the PYQs exam. Uh, practicing complete PYQs, then I will uh, start to write PYQs. Uh, because by the time you practice, you you have that personal understanding yeah. of what is more important, what should be there in short notes. Because short notes have to be short. If you just copy the entire notes, maybe just 10-20% reduction, so that won't help you. Thank you. I, have to, I also used to write important questions in the PYQs for short notes also. Right. While revising them, I also go to those questions and revise those questions also. Okay. okay. So, uh, uh, quick answer, MTech or PSU finally? MTech. MTech. Uh, IIC Bangalore, IIT Bombay, IIT Madras. IIT Madras. IIT Madras. Analog, uh, you prefer analog design or you prefer digital design? Analog. 
okay cool so uh, yeah it was nice interacting with you uh, hari and uh, you know i hope your journey the way you struggled with your health but still got you know, you know decent marks all india rank 164 and mostly you'll get your dream colleges would uh, inspire most of the future aspirants and that that is the main agenda of performing uh, such podcast so that uh, you know students are you know you know motivated okay and they keep on listening to such stories so that their preparation also goes smoothly and they are not demotivated during the phase of their preparation so thank you hari once again congratulations and uh, you know we wish you again all the success for your future endeavors okay thank you sir thank i you. want to say one thing uh, i have to thank for the home institute for this rank okay great this was possible because of home institute only and we are we are also actually very happy that you know you got up some good rank yes. and you have performed it right so yeah students so this was beyond the rank with uh, hari prakash and uh, you know every student will have their own uh, journey so uh, you you have to decide what path you have to take where you have to start up and if you really have to be you know outshining in the upcoming gate examination uh, take your decision soon that you know if you have to start preparation start timely thank you bye bye